The nuts on tour, rolling in the motor home, moving town to town, never feel alone. Hi, I'm Sue. Hi, I'm Mark. And together we are, when I can get back in the corner, Nuts on Tour. Nuts on Tour. Right, this week is our question and answer session. So this is another in the Van Other Collective Collaboration Conglomeration right. Group. <laughs> We're a group of like-minded people in vans, caravans, motorhomes, all, all different, yeah. with basically a love of going on holiday in our vans, caravans and motorhomes. Like-minded people. Uh, we decided this week we were going to have questions and answers or this month rather, questions and answers. So uh, we asked you a couple of weeks back to send in your questions and we would answer them all today. Or at so, least try to. <laughs> yes. We've got a few, more than I expected. I thought you know, we might get one or two. We've got quite a few. So uh, the first one is from Campervan Chris, 4171. Do you have a CCTV in the van? Yes, we do. We have a CCTV which we use to keep an eye on the pesky pair. Uh, I shall put an Amazon link in the bottom so you can see what it is. So, yes, we do have CCTV mm. and by magic, this is it. It's a uh, Winnie's or Winnie's M3 Plus Spotlight Camera. So, I shall put the old link in below yes it's one of amazon's finest and we link that up to the answer to our uh, the next question the next question which was also from camper van chris is what is your internet setup uh, we have starlink so we're on starlink room so basically when we're out and about uh, we set the starlink up log the camera into the Starlink and then if we go out for the evening or we're having walk around we can keep an eye on the van and also see what the pesky pair are up to. Oh dear. She's checking out the steering wheel. Is there anything on there I can play with? Next question is from Mandy. Where do you get your folding storage boxes, the grey ones? And as if by magic, here is one of said folding storage boxes. The bottom comes out, so you okay, so you have to find somewhere to put that. But then they literally collapse down to this. Nothing squared. Now there are three sizes, if you can imagine it. There's one that is that half, is that size, and then you've got one that's like quarter sizes. And I use them a lot for different things in the vehicle. Um, yeah, that's the, that's one of the other sizes. Like I say, it's half that size. It's sort of half half that one, and then there's another one that's quarter of that one. And uh, use them for a lot easier than ramming things in the cupboard and then trying to find them all. Well, so. it's also, yes. to be honest with you, I've got one that size for a few little bits and pieces at all. It also so. stops things falling, falling out. out of the cupboard and bashing you on the heed when you open the cupboard door. Well, which has <laughs> happened. But yeah, I use these a lot actually. I use them in the bathroom for all the toiletries and then in here they're normally They've got not tins because tins go in the pantry area, but anything that's dry goods, as in like rice, flour, pot noodles. Well, not so much pot noodles, but pasta and stuff like that, or any little jars actually. These are for now for the jam jars and things like that. So, yes, Amazon's finest, and they are called Max Porium. They are. I will uh, put a link in the blurb below yeah. when we find all and normally when you buy you don't buy one at a time you buy a set so you'll get probably two of this size a couple of that size and a couple of the quarter size ones or maybe four of this size it all depends on the size of the pack that you get but they come as a pack and they all literally let's say bottom comes out 
ding 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 so that they'll all fold they up. all fold up to that and you can if you do it right get all of these and stick them all in that so you need one of them and then you can get the, yeah everything right. else in yeah. <laughs> but yeah they're brilliant yes. i like them and they're cam they're sort of a canvasy sort of right canvas. next one is uh a question from one of the other members actually footsteps and tire tracks so take the time and watch all the other videos in the collective all the other people take the time and uh, see their videos because they all have different questions but how do you manage with such a long vehicle and what are the disadvantages well this isn't actually the longest of vehicles i mean we go to a, quite a few of the shows and we see vehicles that are nine meters plus uh jenny's 8.71 yeah yeah 8.71 meters so she's not that long all right she's longer than a t5 but yeah she's, there's more room inside for us lot uh disadvantages okay you can't take her through the center of some towns and cities because well the cities aren't too bad but you can't take her through the center of some towns because she you'd struggle getting past all the traffic especially the well, side roads if they're main roads fine little yeah. side roads not so fine especially yeah. when you've got people parked on both sides well we have done that well, yeah we have we but did that in i don't know if any you know if any of you know dunnage and the main street so there's normally cars parked either side we did end up going down there one day the only, only reason we well we made a mistake and we ended up there but when we looked and saw the dustbin wagon was down the bottom and thought well if they can if do the it dustbin, so can we. <laughs> that was going to be that was going to be my next point if you think about it a double decker bus or a single decker single decker bus they go down the streets if they can get down we're no bigger we're actually just the same width but we're actually a little shorter so if they can get down so can we the only disadvantage i think we have is if you're trying to park somewhere and they have got height barriers because the height barriers will come to the top of the windscreen virtually and then there's still another two foot above it that will not go through the height barrier or more but that's the same <laughs> that's the same for the three and a half tonners as well some of so, them yes so, some of them yeah all right yeah. You, you again no disrespect to the t5 t6 whatever but you can get little camper vans in there but not proper motor not, homes. I not can't proper say motor there's... homes but not full size motor we haven't homes. even had a disadvantage no. with on a site either have we when we when we first looked at jenny we when we first looked at getting a motor home we sat down and said you know do we go for something like a camper or a b-class motor home or an a-class where you've got the goldfish bowl at the front mm -hmm. and we sort of went well with these two you know four of us in a little camper we're going to be on top of each other <laughs> it can be done but it'd be a bit cozy it, it would be cozy so we said no no we'll look at b-class so we looked at some of the b-class and some of the add-on cabs and all this that and the other some with the blisters on the front we looked at all sorts and then eventually like i said we were two years looking mm -hmm. before we found this and yeah this ticked every box that we got on with the questions this is from motorhome discoveries what are your travel plans for 2025 I will pass over to our <laughs> events manager. Well, I'm busy looking at things at the moment, to be fair. Um, different shows, different events. Um, and they all seem to start around May and go to September. But also, uh, there's different parts of the country that I'd like to visit this year. I mean, we've sort of done our sort of side and sort of in the middle. But I'd, I'd like to go over possibly sort of Gloucestershire that way so if we went to the warner show at malvern we're like three quarters of the way there so we then perhaps go for a week and stay in that area and and do a bit of well, maybe go a bit early there. go a bit early and explore one bit then go to the show yeah. and then go another bit and That's explore it. and then move around again yeah yeah but uh i mean last year or should i say last year this year so we've done somerset and mm -hmm. we've been uh been up to Yorkshire to see your dad. We've we're been, off up to Whitby. Yeah, we're going. To, we're off to Whitby That's later on. Later and on this we're month. actually going. We're actually doing Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, and then yeah, South we, Yorkshire. We're sort of doing yeah. a, a three, 
pronged <laughs> attack. We're going on one of those posh holidays. They have two centre holidays. We're having There's three, three centre, centre holidays. Holiday, yeah. yes. You know, yes. But like I say, the shows... There's some of the Warner shows that we haven't done, which I'm looking at. And um, I apologise for the noise. It's Little girl it's, tapping the table. She's banging the table. Well, Somebody's going to walk past There's with a, a dog. gentleman coming with a dog, so Very you'll shortly. probably get a break coming up any second when both of these two start barking. When she spots it. So we shall uh, like end now. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are so predictable, you two. <laughs> Well, at least one bark and that's sufficient. No. Yeah, she says, I'm, I'm just going to puff and puff. Right. If it's not thunder, it's a rumbly dog. That's a grumbly dog. <laughs> you be quiet. Right. Next one is from Steve. What pegs do you use for the awning? Again, Amazon's finest. I will put a link, uh, put a link below. Uh, they come in a nice little presentation box. I will take a photo of that and put that up here. And uh, they are supposed to be glow in the dark. Well, if they've been out in the sunlight, they might do. They they do glow a little bit. Uh, didn't buy them for that. Bought them because you can drive them in with a drill, which is a lot easier than hammering things all the yes, time. Yes, you've you've been hammering pegs for many a year now. Yes, I've, you? I've had enough of hammering <laughs> pegs, so I'm I'm trying to get them over. I've now changed them over to the sort that you drive in with the uh, with the drill. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah, actually, the, it really is. Even for Zzz, me. It, you know. First time ever. Zzz, yeah. Zzz, Zzz, that, you know, yes, I'm quite happy to beat a peg in, but, you know. <laughs> Bang, crunch, thud. <laughs> yeah, miss. <laughs> right, next and as you can see, Drax wanted to be involved with the questions. If you've got any questions for the dog, ask away. Coming up next, questions <laughs> from Deborah and Peter. And they are, what is the funniest thing the dogs have ever done in the motorhome? Well, you're a constant, yes, you, you're a <laughs> constant am amusement to us, aren't you? Uh, you've all seen that one, or if you've watched the back catalogue, go back and have a look uh, we put the awning up and he didn't want to pee inside the awning so he went through the awning there was about a foot between us the, the outside of the awning and the, and fence. the fence so he we went through and peed up the fence yeah you well, actually the, went through between two between two of the verticals partitions didn't yes you? Yeah, you weren't supposed to but then no. you wouldn't come back with not coming back dude yeah. i got out but i'm not coming back you're great ones for doing that. You'll yeah. go somewhere and then you'll think, how do I get back? Like that. Yeah. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Funniest thing, and though. I don't know. Little girl jumping up and down on the... I like the one we were we were filming and you, you had one of the balls and it, it's oh, one yeah. of little girl's squeaky balls. I actually sat where I am now and I squeaked it. And uh, you squeaked the ball and little head just came around. The, just came around the mine, edge of the Mine, mummy. What are you doing with my squeaky ball? ball? Yeah. Uh, best show you've been to? Mm. Now, depending on what you're calling a show, the best, uh, the best arranged show like that, I would say, the last show at Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah. Last that show was, we went to at Peterborough was, really was brilliant. That was absolutely uh, heaving. <laughs> for sure, as in groups, etc. I think. Uh, Got the ELO, Explosive Light yeah, Orchestra. Yeah, we saw them this year. They were absolutely the, spot on. They were brilliant. It, yeah. First, first, the Peterborough show had to move from the Peterborough showground because they flogged it to build on. So it moved to Newark, and this was the first show at yeah. Newark this year. It was very was good. The Explosive Light Orchestra. It was a good show. Yeah. As for entertainment. Best. This is still from Deborah and Peter. Uh, De Deborah and Peter. What is the best accessory you have? Air brake. Yeah, we use the air brake to corral these two. So for me, definitely the air brake. Well, the air brakes, yes. Mm. I mean, we like to, we put that up all weathers because it is an all weather one. And it just gives them a little bit of, well, not so much privacy, but, you know, they can't see everything depending on how we're positioned. They can't see everything mm. that's out there. So they don't, they're not always sort of barking at stuff. Other accessories? We have got other accessories. But... Oh, we've got all sorts. Of, you've seen our list of MP3 
Yeah, there's the players and the box. Yeah, you know, got all sorts. Last one from Debbie and Peter. Is there anything you wish you had in the motorhome? I, definitely one for me. Electric awning. Yeah. When we got the bus, it had had it had 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 yeah. In the had, past, had. it was an electric awning, but something went wrong. We didn't get the remote control, and the wiring is all poo barred. So uh, yeah, we've uh, we've sort of looked at it and gone, well, we're all right with that for now. There's other things to spend us money on, but sometime in the not too distant future. Oh yes, yes, because I mean you're uh, you're now getting what is it rheumatism or something yeah. in your hand, and I I'm, I can't even get the awning Sue out. Sue can't even get it to turn in the first place. It, it's quite stiff. It is so stiff and heavy so uh, that I can't even use it. If I if I went off on, on my own, there's no way I could actually use the awning. So I know that's something that now that's something we uh, we are looking at getting. Sorted. We're actively researching, and then the next one. If I just take that photo, I will put said photo up along here, wherever. Yeah, this is from uh, the Motorhome Miles. Why are your seat bases orange and black? That's because we bought seat covers. We like seat covers on all the seats. seats protect the leather. Protect, protect them because they are leather and doggies have sharp nice. claws. Wife has sharp claws too, but that's another story. Yes. So uh, we do have the seat covers we bought for the entire seat, but because of the style, yeah, because of the style of the seat back, where it actually has the seat belt coming out from the seat, the seat backs that came with them didn't, didn't have it. that facility. So, well, they had that facility, but it just didn't fit. No, it didn't work. It, it didn't fit. It didn't work. So we used the bases because that's where the dog's nails tend to be yeah they don't they don't the, actually claw up the back it's normally they when they tend to lean against the back and sit on the bottom so at least this is protecting the bottom of the the leather cushions i will leather seats i will take another shot because she is now sat perfectly <laughs> on the seat looking out of the way i'll, I'll put that one up yeah I mean, funniest that's... things dog do this uh next one is from our american viewers wild blue wanderers hello Hi, to both of you where would you recommend someone who is visiting from the usa to visit now we both dis we both <laughs> discussed this and these different things it depends what you're into if you want big views then you've got scotland yeah scotland the lake district norfolk wales. broads wales all sorts of areas if you're after history then somewhere like if you download like the the national trust app they list all the houses in the vicinity you are that have got historic houses yeah, with the storylines uh, towns like stratford upon avon because of old, old yeah. william shakespeare and all shakespeare that and all that thing. stuff you know so yeah. there's, there's if lots you're after, of london yeah well, you know. I would not suggest trying to go around London in a motorhome. No, there is. Um, yeah, there I is would a suggest, few sites that are actually. I would suggest going round the outside and then catching the tube, tube in, in if yeah. you were doing that. But London's London. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'd, There's lots of history in in the yeah. Midlands and, and places yeah. like that. You've got the. Pottery. Like I said, the thing about the National Trust that, but well, I definitely enjoy. We both enjoy going there, but uh, they have the guided tours. Mm -hmm. right. And all of them have l the little booklets. So if you want to know about that clock, that bed, that dresser, what uh, that painting, then you can find some of the history out about that. So if you're into that, great yeah. source of there's, information. There's also, I mean, um, there's things like, you know, the NC500. I'm guessing, I'm not having done it, but I'm guessing that, that actually takes you into the nice some nice areas you see scenic views there's a i think there's one that goes up and down the west coast of scotland as well for the same reason yep. there is one and um it's the i think the yorkshire 600 would you believe yep. and basically that goes round the border of yorkshire all the way around and yep. again you're seeing different views yep. different scenery different again, towns if you're into your scenery the dales 
brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Moors, Moors. brilliant. It it really does depend what you're looking for, what what lights your fire, but uh, definitely places like the lakes, the moors, Norfolk Broads. I mean, we take it for granted because we live here, but a lot of people come down to the Broads, park up with their motorhome, then get a day boat tire or go out yep. for a week or whatever. Again, next okay. one is, I'm not sure who this one's from, but uh, what editing suite do you use? Right. Well, we, <laughs> hmm, yes. We had a few hiccups and problems because I uh, I use Windows. No wrong with Apple. If you can get on with iPads and Macs and all that lot, fair enough. But I use Windows. So the editing suite that I've uh, been using for the last few years is something called NCH, which is for actually from Australia. I thought it was American. No, it's actually Australian. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's from Australia. Uh, you can get a free version, my favourite price, but you only get, I think you only get two soundtracks on that. So I wanted to upgrade it. So I upgraded it and got the pro version. Uh, I think it was seven, 75, either 75 or 79 quid. Not the cheapest, but by far not, not the, the most expensive. expensive. And big dog's back. Hello. You want to come up here, don't you? I don't no, know what you're I want to come up. I can't you want to sit. Hang on, yeah. big oh, dog, <laughs> rearrange, rearrange. Ooh, get up. You can't get up there, ah, you big lad ah, ass. Ooh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. God. <laughs> Funniest <sighs> things that the dogs do? Hmm. Yeah, right. That might come in there. But I'm now going to have to move because he's. But uh, with that, I can do things like I can put the writing on the screen, I can put music in, I can put overlays <laughs> up, you can do the uh, transitions. <sighs> So yeah, plenty of bits and pieces. Uh, Next one, we have a couple more questions coming. Uh, first one is from Paul, our number one fan. And uh, he asks, do we have a tracker? And if so, which one do we have? And the answer is... Yes, we have a tracker via tracker. <laughs> it is a tracker. tracker. And the reason we got it, because... It was already on the vehicle when we purchased it. All that's we what, had to do was take over the yeah, subscription. That's what Death Left had got on it. So, uh, yeah, all we had to do was continue the subscription. Transfer it, it uh, to us. Yeah. They came out... So that, well, as, when you, if you've already got one on there and you, you transfer the subscription, basically they come out, service it, check your fobs are working, and then, uh, if not, replace the fobs and... Carry on. Charge you for it, and away you go. Oh, let's charge you for it, don't <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, and the next question, uh, which is also from Paul. Uh, oh, happy new van, Paul. Paul picked up it. This will be going out on the Wednesday. Pick it up tomorrow, don't And they? Paul picks it up. Tuesday. Tuesday, yesterday. So Paul will picked it up yesterday. So happy new van day. Hope you enjoy your new van. Oh, yeah. And his question is, what? would be the first accessory that you bought i.e owning whatever um we have a difference of opinion here me and lady nut well yeah because i mean not being funny an accessory now it would depend whether it's got solar on board yes i mean if it hasn't got solar on board that would probably be one of the first things what for you to put solar on so you can at least survive some of the time off grid then you start to invest in things like your your power banks, don't you? Well, that's part of your solar, isn't it, and really? You can thing. have a power bank before you get solar if you charge your power well, bank Well, you can up. do. Yeah. yeah. But uh, for me, I one of the first things I look for, I don't like using these plastic ramps. I just don't get on with them at all. <laughs> so one of the first things I look for, not the cheapest accessory in any way, shape or form, but self-leveling. I, uh, yeah, it makes life so much easier for arriving on site. Press a button, zoom, it doesn't matter if you... It can matter if it's a, an incredibly slopey field. You then need chocks, don't you? Well, you can put chocks under the self-leveling, self but you're yeah, still no. not using plastic ramps. No, I mean, no. You get to some places and you can't use the ramps because it's too steep. steep. So, yeah, yeah, either or. I don't know. 
but mm. uh, but there's many accessories I accessories mean, wise it depends if you're going to do off-grid camping then having things like awnings driver they go out the window tables and check they go out the window if you're going to do uh we do quite a few of the shows warner shows camper van camp out and things like that so for us we can put the awning out get the air break out you've if you've watched our videos you've seen we put the big uh we put the, the rain blocker up, awning, awning out and then attach the rain blocker so we keep pinky and perky hey eh? we keep you two corralled corralled yes and then we've got the big air break that helps keep you in inside doesn't it yeah keep you in stock so yeah uh another one which was vital for us was the uh, the dog guard on the door to stop these two rushing out as soon as the doors open yeah so yeah it depends on yeah. I mean, what you've got and yeah. what you need you and know? i mean paul's coming from caravanning so i'm guessing he'll have a lot he'll have quite a bit in the in the lines of possibly windbreaks and tables and chairs tables and, and chairs yeah. and, and and maybe a cadac and all that sort of stuff yeah. um but i mean main accessories i mean we've never had a drive away awning um you do see them but i've i've noticed a lot of people who have them don't actually attach them to the yeah. vehicle they just have them stand alone sort of little tents yep. when you go to the shows most of the people have got what they well they they're like a bit like a party tent aren't they yeah no, they do do party tents for that as well you know, that they put up they don't put an awning mm. up they may use the canopy just to cover a little bit so that they're not getting wet between transferring I, <laughs> but that's about again it. that also you depends know. on the size of your van and whether you've got an attached canopy mm-hmm it is because i mean i have seen one or two that you know that's an extra yes on some hmm. it is and the last question is or the last question in this section is from wendy and she says she's noticed that in our videos jenny has got a slide out step but we don't use it correct we've got a slide out step uh, actually attached to jenny but we've got also got a wide and deep extra wide yeah. extra wide and extra deep one for uh dopey dogs. dogs we do use the slide out step if mm. we're not oh if, if yeah if, if we're like a, doing an overnight if we're somewhere. doing an overnight or we wild camping yes we'll use the step not get the plastic one out but yeah but uh little girl doesn't like using the slide out step it's well, quite it's quite narrow out from the bus and she gets all confused yeah. he just launches himself out yeah, well, and launches he, he, himself back in he launches he launched himself out once and his legs went down between the step You're silly. and the bus so you know just for safety purposes we use the the big black ones when we're on sites or at a show yeah you know where you can put them out but yeah that's more for safety reasons and also for clumsy me as well you know <laughs> so if i trip out the van at least not, i've got something to trip on not very no word <laughs> like in my lip yeah. yes. so that's it on to the next section we changed from car uh, from caravan to camper why andy uh we felt like a change um, oh yeah <laughs> basically i've been caravanning since i was about five used to go to my grand's static caravan at cleethorpes so uh, when we got married i've been caravanning up to then uh when we got married we got a caravan uh the first we one the we little, had was the, the little the, eldest yeah the little eldest eldest yeah. typhoon gt we had to make up the bed yeah <laughs> with two big dobermans not, oh, these, not two. these two the previous no, previous previous lot. previous yeah long time ago we actually, we, we, I don't know but why we moved we, to a motorhome, because we, we were happy with our Buccaneers, which is what we had before we got this, weren't we? Yes. We liked the caravans. We had a, a Buccaneer, we had the Bermuda, and then we changed it no, to the... No, we had the Barracuda. Barracuda, and, and then we changed, changed it, it to, to the Bermuda. Bermuda. So there was lots of space in there. Yeah. But I don't know, I, I, don't, I think It's we a just... different style of holiday, holiday. whereas yeah. with a caravan you go, you leave your caravan there and then go off a day in that direction a day in that direction and go around with a motorhome you tend to drive the motorhome there have a day there drive the motorhome have a day there drive and then so it's a different style of motorhome Holiday. for setting up for setting up oh amazingly quick 
we can, you've seen the videos that we've done we can pull up and within literally five minutes and two of that are the airbags going down and the and the, and the self leveling extending <laughs> but within sort of five minutes then air, air out of the airbags self leveling cable out and plugged in if we're on a plug in otherwise get the kettle, kettle on. on yeah kettle can be Coffee. on in, can, kettle could be on in less than 10 minutes definitely yeah. whereas in a caravan by the time you've yeah, unhooked it, unhooked and it, it and then put the, then put the it, wind, then, wind the thing down put well that, we never had to wind the things down we were well, no, we had, had self-leveling on them was, at all we had self-leveling on them <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, but it was, you know, then if you're going to put an awning up, I mean, the nice thing is this, when we get it, elect, you know, motorised. Electrificated. Electrificated, yeah. Electrificated. You know, it'll be, press a button, bingo, there it is. You know. New word. If it isn't, if it isn't already, it is now. Electrificated. Yeah. yeah. You know, but uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it seems easier. And also, well, I mean, even when you're towing a caravan, I suppose you have to think, think big and think that you you know when you turn with the car the caravan is going to follow you but its backside's going to swing out so you've got to be sort of aware of what's going on around the back whereas this you point it in the right direction and it just goes there there's no literally trouble. someone said to me a long time ago which i totally believe and uh, it is true as long as you do it in the right manner if the wing mirrors go through the rest will follow yeah. and that's true the wing mirrors stick out a good sort of six seven inch either side so as long as they go through you keep going in a straight line the but just follow it yeah now, a lot of people say oh but it's, you know it's six and a half ton seven ton I, you, you're all right getting makes no difference no. Yeah, it, i mean i'm goes. not sure she would like going down some of the cornish roads i mean we could we could fill the cornish lanes with the bloody jeep let alone yes <laughs> <laughs> with this. You back back to the question we had earlier. Are there any disadvantages? Yes, you have to be careful. You go down some of the little side roads, and they have pull-ins. The pull-ins are large enough for a car. Yeah. So if you meet a tractor coming the other way, which is bigger than a car, he can't get off that way. You can't get off that way. One of you is going to end up reversing. reversing. It'll probably be us. Yeah. <laughs> it depends if we've got the car on the back uh, uh, yeah. ain't gonna be us True. you have to get out and unhook the car and then pull the car in and mm. yeah a lot of hassle a lot of faffing about so, but, hey, uh, but that's yeah. the other thing i've no, uh, probably appreciated as well is the fact that if we're going somewhere and we we aren't taking the car because we're not going to be going out out wherever we're going we can walk to or whatever well, if we're going to a like a warner show where you're just going to be on site well yeah or, or like you know we've done an overnighter down to aldborough a bit of you know yeah aldiburg not they call it it's not wild camping is it but you know off-grid camping type of thing you, you're self-contained you're just one Ad vehicle camping. you yeah. know you're not you are you haven't got i think oh yeah i something. can't do that because i've got a caravan if you're if you're coming <laughs> down from if you're coming from anywhere you're coming from scotland down south down to south or you're coming from south up to north yeah if you're in a car and caravan you pull into a lay by you've got to stop get your steady you know, put your steadies down a bit so you're not got all the weight on the tow ball uh hook your gas up and yeah with this 30 seconds stop turn the engine off we're ready to go yeah uh someone's going to turn around and say oh you still have to your gas to turn on no because we are fully our gas stop. has crash i forgot what it's called so now. crash sensor uh, a crash sensor yeah so we could actually travel we with our gas turned on normally we don't no normally if we're traveling i've got the gas turned off and the uh, and the water pump turned off so that if anything parts you're not losing gas or pumping water everywhere but if you wanted to you could and that's the but then we've got the, the power pack so the fact is you know if and we... that brings us on to our final question oh, does it <laughs> I was gonna say, our you... final question uh this is from al no not just al okay al al, al and siska is it oh sorry yeah al sorry al and sorry and al Alan, Alan Siska, yeah. Have you? Uh, sorry, what power banks do you have? And um, how often do you, you? How often do you weigh the motorhome? Right, power banks. We have the power 
oak, which is a bluette. Oh, power oak. Power oak. Yeah, yeah bluette. And we have the Eco Flow Delta Pro, isn't it? Delta Pro. Yeah. Pro so one's two thousand four hundred. <laughs> that's that, the. That's the power oak, yeah. and the other one is. Uh, three six. Yeah, three. So I'm reading it down here. Three, three six. six. And <laughs> all we did is. Sorry, I'm being. Battered. Battered by the big dog. Big dog looking out the window. He's now watching the chap turn the nut to chop trees. Yeah. What we did is just where big dog is sat, <laughs> there is. He's the, actually sat on them. The seat. Yeah. There is the seat that you can oh, the travel seat. take take off the the base of the seat if you like, and the travel seat is there. You put your legs where there. There are only us two and the monsters, yeah. So what we actually do is we took the travel seat bits out. We took out. the travel seat piece of wood out, out and we put them both under there. I shall take a photo in a moment. Yeah, I was going to say. You I can't shall take see a photo. It, with my legs and him. Yes, <laughs> so you can see that. So that was all the questions. We we, I mean, we just actually, going back to the to the power banks that are actually underneath the seat here, we've actually just run, I've just put a cable in that for a 240. So the fact is I can run that and it goes up and over and behind me into the kitchen. Yeah. So now... We can run the induction hob, etc., without running cables all up the uh, front, front and yeah, tripping dogs up. Sort of hidden it underneath things. <laughs> so, hope that answers all your questions. And as we said, please take the time to watch the other videos in the collaboration. There will be that. links below. Mm -hmm. And until the next one, bye from me. Bye. Sorry, I was watching the trailer just come in next door and looking at my mirrors that are hung over the fence. Until the next time. Sharing stories, it's what we do. Lots of feeling the air true. With the open sky so blue.